Hello my friends, welcome to the Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting math problem from Norway Math Olympiad in 1995. It says let f of, f of x is equal to x to the power of 6, 6 plus a x to the power of 5 plus b x to the power of 4 plus c x to the power of 3 plus d x to the power of 2 plus e x plus f. And f of 1 is 1, is equal to 1, f of 2 is equal to 2, f of 3 is equal to 3, f of 4 is equal to 4, f of 5 is equal to 5, and f of 6 is equal to 7. And we've been asked to calculate f of 7. What is f of 7? Please try, try to solve it before watching the video, <coughs> and let me know what you think in comments. Okay, f of 1 is equal to 1. This means f of 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. f of 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. f of 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. f of 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. f of 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And f of 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. When we look at these um, equations, this means, implies that f of x minus x is equal to 0 is a sixth level equation. f of x minus x is equal to 0 is a sixth degree polynomial equation and the with roots of 1, 2, x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When we put x, 1, the result is 0. When we put x is equal to 2, the result is 0. This means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are the roots of this fx minus x is equal to 0 equation. As a result, we can write down this equation, sorry, this, um, yes, equation as f of x minus f of x minus x is equal to n times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 and times x minus 6. Now, if we put x is equal to 1, f of 1 minus 1 will be is equal to this term will be 0, so it is a valid root. Or is, um, if we put x is equal to 4, f of 4 minus 4 will be n times this term, this term, this term, and x minus 4 will be 0. So again, f of 4 minus, minus 4 will be 0. On the other hand, the coefficient of x to the power of 6 here is 1. This means that n has to be 1, and we can rewrite the equation as f of x minus x is equal to x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 times x minus 6. Now we can calculate f of 7. We put x is equal to 7 in this equation, so we will have f of 7 minus 7 is equal to 7 minus 1 times 7 minus 2 times 7 minus 3 times 7 minus 4, times 7 minus 5, and times 7 minus 6. Or, f of 7 minus 7 is equal to 6 times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. And uh, the right-hand side of the equation will be 720, so f of 7 minus 7 equal to 720, or f of 7 will be 720 plus 7, or f of 7 is equal to 727. As simple as that. I hope you found this video enlightening. Your support would mean a billion to us. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with your friends. Thank you sincerely for your support.
wishing you an absolutely fantastic time wherever you are on this planet. Cheers.